So today we are going to find out what is underneath, what is inside. Stay tuned. Oh yeah, this projector. Okay, see you in a bit. And yes, this is the unboxing first. Today we're going to be testing this one for portable projector. This is a product from the Xiaomi ecosystem. And the model is the T2 Max. And it says here T2 M Plus. It's an LED projector. A couple of things to note. There's electronic keystone correction, which actually, in my opinion, doesn't work very well. Now, it has three watt speakers and a pair of them, so it can put up stereo. It takes HD input. And from what I understand, this is actually a full HD projector, but we'll test that in a little bit. And it has a fully sealed light engine, meaning to say um, the light unit itself it is uh, and, and completely enclosed and no external light source will be able to come in and lower the contrast. And it also means that the light within this unit itself does not leak out and does not spill over into your room. Some people don't realize that, but actually it is a big thing. Now it's a very small projector, as you can see from the box. Now I'll just bring in the mouse for comparison. This is the size of the box. And see this lady carrying the projector? Less than 1 kg, 900 grams to be precise. Small and portable, and that's how they are marketing it. Okay, so let's get to it. Open it up here. Oh, home cinema. No tape required. Okay. And let's open, open, open. A bit of resistance. No, no. Yes, yes. Ah, okay. Oh, nicely packed. This is a, like a foam sheet, not those kind of loose styrofoam where the bits are going to fall all over. And this is an introduction manual. Oh, very small, but it's in English. It comes with the projector, the remote control, oh, remote control adapter, and the cable. This is the power cable. Okay, I'll leave this here aside. While we open this, I can refer to it. Ah, okay, here you go, here you go. Oh, it's actually very well packed. Ah, when you carry it in your hands, you actually realize how small it is. I know it's small, but hmm, this is really cute. Packaging, very, very nice, very good. Okay, um, plastic covering the front and the lens. These are the three watt speakers, two of them. The inputs at the back. This is a headphone out. A HD HDMI input. This is a USB port. I'm not sure. Maybe to put a, a thumb drive where you can read your video files. And this is the DC in. So that's power in. Okay. And right at the back, on the bottom rather, uh, it says a couple of things. The throw ratio is 1.35 to 1. So this is a relatively long throw. Uh, not a short throw projector where you can put it right up to the wall or to the front of the screen and still throw a large image. This one needs to be a distance away. Okay, and there is a tripod mount here, which is very useful. Uh, so you don't have to leave it on the table. You can mount it, on, mount it on a tripod stand and you'll be able to adjust it accordingly. Okay, and um, let's see what this dot is. Oh, this is the on-off button. And this is the focus wheel. Oh, okay, it turns this lens here so you can focus the image. So no autofocus here. The price of this, this is a very, very budget price. I'll leave the link in the description below where you can check the most current price for this projector. Oh, this is really, really small and tiny. Okay, what else is in the box? Let's see. Separate them. That must be the power supply and the remote control, a very sleek remote control, and this is the power cable. Anything else? Nope. Certificate of approval. Production date, you see, okay, nothing else. Let's put all this back in. I like to put in all the plastic back in as well. Uh, and this so that I don't mess up the place. Sorry bit of a OCD here okay here and then okay 
I am really excited to see what kind of picture quality this is able to pull up. Okay. Okay, the only thing I'm going to leave out is the manual in case I need it. But let's look up. Give it aside and have some space on the table. Okay, so there you go. Power cable. This is the power supply. Remote control. Mm. Let's see. Ah, no batteries. Triple A, triple A batteries required. It is not provided. I don't see it anywhere in the kit. The introduction manual and the unit itself. Now, before you go about doing anything, remember to peel off this plastic covers otherwise your picture is going to look really horrible okay so let's get on to the image test okay so this is the projector setup already and i have changed a little bit of uh, how i usually present this because i actually need the projector to be positioned and there needs to be a front wall so that the screen can be shown the image can be shown now i'm going to show you how actually this looks like so this is the uh, room. This is the projector that I set up. I told you that you can actually mount it on a tripod, which is what I did. So it throws the image on the wall to the front of the room. And let's see whether you can see it. Yep, there you go. So there is a blank wall uh, to the right. The wall is painted dark grey. So it does reduce the amount of light that can be uh, thrown back so the image does appear a little bit darker but the contrast because of the grey dark grey wall is actually better than if it was to be just a white wall now this is actually set next to my 55 inch LG CX this is an OLED TV very very bright a very high-end TV I spent three thousand over dollars on this guy Singapore dollars right and this projector here you are it is a very low cost projector uh just check out the link below to see what the current price is but you are expecting to pay about 15 times less than this tv would and i set it at this distance where you are going to get about the same size as the 55 inch so this is a 55 inch oled tv and the 55 inch oled tv is going to cost three thousand dollars and this is going to be 20 times cheaper maybe right at about 100 over 200 dollars and it also throws a 55 inch now the room is pretty dark at the moment and when i show you this setup this setup is actually a little bit uh overexposed because the logitech webcam is uh, actually overexposing the image okay so uh if i were to go back to this and what you can see um, the room, the light is actually not being thrown on the screen itself, so it doesn't reduce the brightness of the uh, image thrown from the projector in any way, but it gives you a fairly good idea of uh, how bright this can be. I tried to do this review in the daytime. I have a 12 feet glass panel in front of me, which lets, out a, lets in a lot of light from the outside of the house and i couldn't really do this uh comparison because the image was a little bit too washed out uh, to show anything and given that i have actually a gray wall it actually makes it a little bit worse now i'm gonna go through uh with you a little bit about what this projector is capable of doing right so this is on youtube this is the uh remote that accompanies the projector now that this remote feels quite good it uses triple a battery so there is some heft or some bulk in this remote unlike the nvidia shield the earlier versions they were just you know razor thin and it was very uncomfortable to hold and it was touch sensitive and all all these are tactile buttons so it feels very comfortable and the sound now is actually playing out via the projector setup now i'm going to uh, show you using my gopro on how this setup looks now okay so this is the tv this is the lg tv the light is there as you can see so the light is actually um, throwing towards me myself lighting me as the subject rather than uh, throwing the light directly 
on the screen or on the wall. Next to it, this is the projection from the projector. Okay, as you can tell, it is actually pretty dim, right? And this is actually the YouTube client that is being built into the projector. Now, this is where the projector is right now. This projector here, uh, if you can hear the hum, this is from the fan that is coming inside this projector unit. Now, if you were to be sitting next to the projector, like what I'm doing right now, and the sound is not loud enough coming from whatever you're trying to watch, then you're going to have some problem because you're going to be hearing a lot of the fan noise. I'm just going to get quiet and see whether you can pick that up. Okay, so that, that is the fan noise trying to exhaust the heat coming from the light source within the projector. Now, if you look at the screen now, I am going to adjust the focus and you can see it running in and out of focus. It is actually pretty easy to set up the focus. Is the, the wheel, the focus wheel at the top is pretty well damped, so it's not that bad. <coughs> Okay, I'm just going to run through some of these videos so you can take a look for yourself how this actually looks like. This is an ad playing. Okay, the volume coming from the projector at 50% now. The mic is now about four and a half feet away from the projector. This is uh, roughly where the mic is, and this is where the projector is. And this is the screen that is being cast out, the image that is being cast out. It's not the brightest. And okay, this is the ad playing. It's a pretty bright ad. So this ad, you can see. Okay. Let me play loud. Okay, this is a hundred percent volume. So let's see how hundred percent volume sounds like. Okay. When the image is bright, the screen actually performs uh, pretty admirably. Right? It's not that bad. And this is a bright image, right? This, this is a bright video. The clouds are a little bit overblown, but otherwise the amount of detail and the clarity and the sharpness is actually pretty good for a projector of this value. I mean you're not going to be you're not spending a lot of money this is like a hundred two hundred dollars and you are getting this kind of quality now bear in mind okay this has been intentionally set up to 55 inch to mimic the size of the tv so that you can do a direct comparison right but if you have the space to move the projector any further back okay you are then able to get a bigger image now how big can it get reasonably? I would say maybe pushing 80 inches. Anything above 80 inches is going to be pretty dim. Now, bear in, sight, bear in mind, this projector is really, really small, really, really tiny. Okay, And this kind of brightness, this kind of image coming from a projector of this size is actually is very reasonable. Okay. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit to move in a little bit closer to let you take a look at how this image looks.
Okay, so as you can tell, actually the colors aren't really uh, too shabby at all. Pretty reasonable color rendition from a projector of this budget. Uh, but what I can say is that the brightness is probably a little bit overexposed. Not because the projector is very bright, but because the contrast actually uh, isn't that great. If it wants to show anything in the darker regions of the picture, it actually has to um, you know, boost up the brightness a little bit. And because it is trying to show the dark areas, the brightness at the brighter areas are then overexposed and a little bit um, too bright, it, washing the image out just a little bit. Now, other than that, if you look at what is available, now I, I didn't do anything to the projector setup except to set up for the Wi-Fi so that I can get some connectivity. If I go to the home screen, you'll be able to see a couple of uh, things that are available. This is the smart TV uh, interface that they have. Um, some of the recommendation of the videos that they think because there's no login here so it's just uh, trying to show you uh, what people are actually watching right so this is a video on mr brown mr brown is a local youtuber comedian kind of thing and he this is his take on uh, the umbridge thing but never mind that okay um, there are apps there is an app store Netflix comes in stock, Facebook is there, Amazon Prime is there. You can even browse the internet with the Chrome browser that is built in. There are some other apps. The YouTube app is definitely there. And more. Okay, so here you go. Here, the settings. I'll come back to the settings in a bit. Let me just run through everything else. There's a music tab as well. So the music tab, let's just, uh, well, I won't click on any of these just in case it infringes any copyright stuff. And this is the sports channel. Uh, source. Source, this allows you to select the input. I told you that there was an HDMI input at the rear of the projector. So this is the selection for it. When you plug an input inside this source, you will be able to select it and you'll be able to play. So uh, let's say that uh, you, you want to project from your phone and your phone has a uh, USB-C to HDMI output. You could actually link it up and show on this, uh, in, on this projection what your phone is showing okay now settings okay which is uh, also up there but here okay there's also a dedicated settings button that if you press you will go to the settings uh, menu of this projector so you can set up bluetooth you can set up you can set up wi-fi you can set up bluetooth as well bluetooth it means that it will be able to uh, show itself as a device or it can actually hook up a bluetooth speaker now, I'll try that in a while. Let's see whether that works. But the number of Bluetooth clients that is being uh, found by this is you know, well, it's quite a lot here. Everything comes up. Okay, you for display, you can only change the font size. Nothing much you can do about that. Uh, apps, memory, I won't touch on this. Not very interesting stuff. By default, the menu is in English. So for those international buyers, for those of you who uh, won't be able to read Mandarin uh, Chinese, then this wouldn't be a problem. Okay. And, and and you see that's about it. There is a mouse button that if you click and hold, you can actually it says mouse activado, right? Meaning you can control the mouse. There's no air mouse that you can wave around, but you can control the cursor using the well the D-pad here, which is not the most intuitive. So uh, I turn it off and I use the D-pad. Uh, just to move around the whole system, right? And, uh, well, that's it. There's not much for the uh, settings. So there is a setting which is uh, called flip here. Now flip, it depends on whether you are doing a front projection or a rear projection. Imagine that you wanted to put this projector uh, behind a piece of cloth and you're trying to project from the rear so that people from the front can see the uh, projection on the rear on the cloth. Then you will set this to rear projection. Uh, you can actually mount it on the ceiling or you can mount it uh, on the ceiling and behind the cloth. Otherwise, just set it to normal. Okay, so what I'm going to try next is I will try to pair a Bluetooth speaker to this and let's see whether it improves the sound performance of this projector here. Okay, so I have a JBL Flip 5 here. This is the new one I have. 
I'll be running a review on the JBL Flip 5 in stereo. So if you are interested in that, please stay tuned. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And I'll be posting a review soon. Okay, so I've set the JBL Flip 5 to Bluetooth Discovery Mode. On the projector, I'm going to select Bluetooth and let's see whether it's able to find this speaker. Yes, it does come out. Oh, I saw it. Where did it go? Uh, oh, it, it actually discovers very quickly. So a lot of it popping up. Let me just try to find the JBL Flip 5. Yes, there's a headphone icon next to it, meaning to say it will use it as a music playback device. Now it's pairing. Okay, that indication is from the JBL Flip 5 saying that it is packed. Okay, let's get out of this. Now, when you adjust the volume, it says 100% uh, here, and there is a uh, there's a Bluetooth logo, meaning you say you're adjusting the volume for the Bluetooth. Let's try to play something and see whether uh, it comes out much louder than what is stock on the projector itself. Nivea Naturally Good Shower Gel. It cleanses, moisturizes, and has natural fragrance. That is really loud. Really, really, I think this can change the experience that you get out of the projector. Now, what when these kind of projectors are being used and they have their own built-in sound system, when you are placing it anywhere, anywhere but where the screen is, right? Because it needs a distance to throw. The sound that you are listening to, the voice, the vocals, the music, the sound effects, they're all coming from where the projector is, not where the image is. But when you pair up this projector with a Bluetooth speaker like this JBL Flip 5 here, or even the new Sonos Roam, which is capable of Bluetooth inputs, you can actually put these speakers right to the front of the projection screen. And when you put it there, then the whole sound effect becomes a lot more natural, right? And the speech is happening where the person on the screen is. So you feel that everything is a little bit more immersive. And not to mention the fact that this speaker is going to be putting out a lot more sound than the three watt speaker that is built into the projector. At some point in time, when I was going through the projector, you can actually feel that the sound is breaking up a little bit when the volume is pushed too high. This one, I was playing at 100% volume through Bluetooth connection and it never broke up and it was a lot louder. Now, you don't have to buy a Bluetooth speaker for this projector if you want to buy the projector. I'm going to be linking the projector affiliate link down in the description below. So if you are interested, do uh, buy from the link. It helps me out. It helps my channel out. Now, you don't have to buy this speaker because it is highly likely that you have some Bluetooth speaker already at home. And if you do have that, then link it up and you'll be able to get hell of an experience from a projector of this size, casting out a screen that is equivalent to a 55 inch TV or even bigger, you know, if your room is actually dark enough. All right. So um, for those of you who have enjoyed today's video, please do leave a like. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Bye.